All right, so let's dig into Art Steps, talk about building your very own virtual gallery. I've already created a free account, so if you haven't done that by now, that's your next step. Once you've created that free account, you'll be logged in and click on the Create button in the top center of the menu bar. And you'll be taken to a blank floor plan for your exhibit. Now, there are two templates that you can work with, but it's way more fun to build your own, and that's going to be our focus for all of these tutorials. A couple things before you get started uh, that I think are really important. Um, it's worth it to grab a piece of scratch paper and draw a rough idea of what you would like to make your interior look like. Do you want it to be square? Do you want it to have angles? Is it going to be a rectangle? You'll see there are a lot of different options that you can include, but it will help if you start with a plan. The other thing that you should know is that um, Art Steps is set up in the world of the metric system. So each of these squares on the floor plan grid is one meter. One meter is equivalent to just under 3.3 feet, if that's what you're into. So keep that in mind. I've found, for my purposes, anything under like 10 or 15 meters on a side is just almost too small to navigate in. As soon as you step in, you're bumping into the back wall. So give yourself some space. Item number three, don't start building at the edge unless you are making a really huge exhibit. Otherwise, give yourself some exterior space and build in the middle because as cool as Art Steps is, once you have built your gallery, there's no way to move it to a different location on this floor plan grid. Where you build it is where it is unless you choose to start over. Okay, enough prelims. Let's get started. We're in the Define Your Space tab, and that's what we're going to focus on now. Just below that, in the top left, you'll see we have two construction tools. Start placing walls and start placing doors. Let's build some walls. So I'm going to click on the button. Now this is not a click drag. You just click to select it and you'll notice that when you move to the floor plan, your cursor has changed to a little construction tool called a trowel. And when I click here and drag, I get a wall. So I'll draw out a 20 meter wall and let go. There's our first wall. Now check it out. Let me go to the back. We'll work our way towards the front. You'll notice that the line is pink. That means that if I drag now, it will be extending this wall further out. If I drag this way, it is the pink line shows that we're at a right angle to our original wall. If I go a little bit further in, you notice that it's no pink line. We're not at the very end of that wall. So it's your design, you do what you want. But of course, this pink line helps you to know if you're on the same axes as the first wall that you built. Okay, so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna click and drag another wall out. I'll go to about there. Now you can draw walls that are just at right angles to each other that are perpendicular, but if you'd like to add in some angled walls, you can do that. So what I like about Art Steps is it gives you a lot of freedom to construct what is interesting to you. Now check it out. See this pink line that's appearing here? That shows that those two faces are now at their endpoints. And if I go a little further, you can see the pink line appears again. Next endpoint is there. Let me pause though with my wall building and talk a little bit about navigation. Now you're going to find that this is a lot easier to use if you are working with a good old two button mouse with a scroll wheel. I've used it on a laptop with a touchpad, but the mouse makes it much, much easier. So if you're working with a touchpad, uh, maybe go steal a mouse from another computer. Ask first, right? Okay, so let's talk about navigation. Uh, I'm going to click on Stop Placing Walls for a second. If I hold down the left mouse button and drag, this allows me to orbit or rotate my view. It also allows me to drag and get 
almost a person's eye view, or if I drag the other direction, I get a bird's eye view. So left click to drag is really helpful. You're not stuck with one view. Scroll wheel lets you zoom in and out, also very helpful. And a right click lets you pan. <clears throat> so this is different than rotate. It's not changing my view in any way, but it is allowing me to pan back and forth. So again, using a quote unquote real mouse will make your life a whole lot better. Now let's say I want to get rid of a wall. This is the time to do it. It is a whole lot easier to delete a wall when you're still in the construction phase than when you've already placed objects or images on it. So I'd like to get rid of this wall right here. I'm going to click on it and choose delete wall. One thing I've noticed about art steps and this is one of its limitations, you can only delete one wall at a time. So I can't shift click and get a bunch of walls. I can't control click and get a bunch of walls, but I can single click on a wall and then click the delete wall button. So just a couple tips to make your life better. Let's draw in some more walls here. Again, you can look for that pink line. See that is a line right there. And I'm gonna drag a wall all the way across. So now I have completed my exhibit layout, I didn't need to do that, I apologize. Let's get rid of that wall. But that was actually, that was a good example. Notice that I can put freestanding walls in as well. So you can have options to put freestanding walls in that can further divide up the exhibit space. And we'll talk more about design in a later video. Let me get rid of these real quick. So click, delete wall. Click, delete wall, and I can rotate with the left mouse button, click and drag. But I don't have any way to get into the museum yet, so let's grab a door. So I've clicked on the place a door tool, and I could have a door here. I could put a door over here. I could put a door back there. Doors everywhere, my friends. Uh, if you don't want to have a door in a particular place, click on the wall button. And notice when I have it lined up with that opening for the door and I have a pink line, I can just drag across and it's as if that door were never there. Now, while we've been building in the lower left-hand corner, what's really cool is that it has built out a map for us. So you can see your floor plan as well. Compare it to your hand-drawn floor plan if that helps you. If this map bugs you, you can click on this little arrow in the lower left hand corner and hide it. And then the map icon is there for you to use. Now it would be irresponsible of me if I didn't tell you at this point, it's really important to go to the top right and click the save button every so often. Um, this is saved in the cloud. It is not saved on your computer. And I've really enjoyed working with art steps, but I've had a couple of times where maybe my computer glitched or the internet was a little slow and I had to hit refresh on the browser. I had lost some of my most recent changes or additions. So we've got to stay in that habit of just clicking save every so often. And when you click save, you may find that you're waiting a little bit while the internet sorts itself out. And now we have clicked save and we've got that started. If you want to get a quick view of what it looks like, you can click on the view button next to the save button in the top right. And we will wait for the internet to do its thing. All right. And we've got our view right here. I'm going to walk in. And we have a lovely exhibit space here, friends. Lots of potential. I'm going to do a left click and drag. Look at that. Look at that space that we just built. Thing of beauty, huh? In our next tutorial, we will talk about how to change the colors and textures of the space, and then we'll move into adding objects and images. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, friends.